Linata is a University of Idaho two-row feed barley from 2007 and is one of the most commonly planted spring barleys in Washington. This is a medium maturity variety with average height. It also has good test weight and is moderately susceptible to barley stripe rust. Lenital has above average yield in the 12 to 16 inch zone, but really excels in the higher rainfall areas where it tops the trial for yield. It does generally have the lowest protein in the trial. Oriana is a Highland Specialty Grains two row feed barley variety. It generally has above average yield and average test weight and protein. Compared to Lenital, Oriana has lighter test weight and similar or slightly higher protein. It is short in stature and rated medium for maturity. Oriana is moderately susceptible to stripe rust. Survivor is a 2017 two row feed barley released by WSU. Survivor is unique in that it carries the emmy tolerance trait to allow it to be planted into clear field systems. It cannot be sprayed with emmy herbicides like Beyond, but it can tolerate the residual in the soil following wheat. It is best adapted to the 12 to 16 inch precip zone, but generally hits the trial average for yield, test weight, and protein. Survivor is an early medium maturity with medium height. Stripe rust rating is better than most at moderately resistant. Havener is a two-row Hullis food variety released by Washington State University in 2015. Yields are generally going to be four to 500 pounds per acre less than your higher yielding feed barleys like Lenital. It does have to tend to have higher yield than Meg Song in the 12 to 16 inch precip zone. Test weight is going to be much higher than hulled varieties and is generally one pound per bushel less better than Meg Song. Protein and beta-glucan content are also going to be higher as it is a food barley. Height and maturity are close to average. Havener is moderately susceptible to stripe rust. Alterado is a Highland Specialty Grains two-row feed barley variety released in 2017 and tested in our trial for three years. It has had a very strong showing in all rainfall zones with yields topping the three-year trial average in the 20 plus rainfall zone. Its test weight and protein are close to the trial average. Compared to Lenital, test weight for Alterado is gonna be lighter. It is rated medium for both height and maturity and is moderately susceptible to stripe rust. LCS Opera is a new release from Lima Grain. It is marketed as a dual purpose variety for either feed or malt markets. Malting quality is acceptable, but yields are as good or better than other feed barleys in the WSU variety trials. In fact, LCS Opera was numerically the highest yielding variety in every rainfall zone on the two year average. Both test weight and protein tend to be low, especially protein. Opera is a short variety with medium maturity. Importantly, it is the only variety in our trial rated resistant to stripe rust. Palmer was a 2019 release from Washington State University targeting the craft brewing market. It is going to yield competitively with other malt barleys and easily out yield CDC Copeland in the high rainfall zone with good test weight and average protein. It generally has better test weight than CDC Copeland with, with usually slightly higher protein. Palmer is going to be a slightly taller variety with medium maturity and it is moderately susceptible to barley stripe rust. Seed should be available for Palmer in spring of 2021. Meg Song is a newer two-row Hollis food variety released by WSU in 2017. Like Havener, yields for Meg Song are going to be significantly lower than feed type hulled barleys. Meg Song also looks like it's going to yield nearly identical to Havener in the high precipitation zones. Test weight is high as it is a Hollis variety, 
but generally lighter than Havener, while protein is going to be about one percentage unit higher than Havener. Beta-glucan content is also higher than Havener, which is more advantageous for human health benefits. Meg's song is going to have medium height and maturity, similar to Havener, but with better standability. One benefit to Meg's song is that it's going to have significantly better stripe rust resistance than Havener.